Hi guys, my name is Emily. Welcome to another Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesdays were created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey and are currently hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. Links to the Goodreads group are in the description box down below. Today I'm talking about five books that I felt betrayed by. So these are recent books, things that stand out to me, things that I've read recently. And the first one here I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, John, Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. So this is the script for the play. I have like a whole half hour video in which a very wounded Emily spews feelings at the camera. So I won't get into it too much. The things that I felt the most betrayed by was the lack of consideration of the years of discourse. Harry Potter fans are active and vocal and they are a huge community. They're constantly engaging with each other and on social media with Rowling and it feels like none of the criticism was really taken into account. So the next book that I felt betrayed by was Eon by Alison Goodman. This is a piece of young adult fantasy literature. It ticks all of my boxes in terms of what I'm looking for and what I like. We have a badass female character in a position of authority, in a subversive position because women aren't usually allowed in this position, but she's doing it anyway. Um, it has magic, it has dragons, like all of the things, all of the things. And to boot, our female character, Iona, is physically disabled. And so to have a physically disabled person in a position of power, in a, like she's such a subversive fantasy heroine that like, I was so excited. I was so happy about this book. On top of that, one of the side characters would be our primary world equivalent of a trans woman. There were so many good, things. There was so much potential. Now I'm going to hold up the book and I'm going to tell you the spoiler and why I was betrayed. So if you don't want to be spoiled, wait till the book comes down. So spoilers starting now. At the end of the book, our awesome badass disabled character is magically cured. And then when we move into the second book, suddenly the dynamic for everything changes. And because she's able-bodied, she's suddenly sexually desirable and she has the attention of two men and like just all the problems, all the problems. So I was really, really disappointed. Again, it felt like a betrayal that this text could have so many subversive elements. Like it could be potentially such a powerful piece of fantasy literature. It could be a piece of fantasy literature doing what I really want fantasy literature to do, to push the boundaries of what the genre is and what our expectations for the genre are, and it just fails. The next book I have here is The Sisterhood Everlasting by Anne Brashares. So if you ever read The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants as a kid, it's a story of four best friends and they share a pair of pants and they mail them around the world and it's just friendship and cuteness and I associate it with summer and it's one of my more nostalgic childhood reads. Um, I haven't reread them in a while so I have no idea what critical adult Emily would do to them, but I have fond memories of them. This is a book that came out many years later that picks up with those friends as adults. I have to be vague so that I don't spoil anything. We really get to see them as adults and how their lives have gone and it's probably realistic. I think in terms of it being realistic, it gets a check, but in terms of crushing my dreams and my nostalgic feelings, like it was such, they were such a close knit, supportive group of female friends. And to sort of see what happens to that felt like a betrayal. But I mean, like realistically, it is a realistic thing to fall apart and feel distance and feel disconnected. The next book I have here feels like a betrayal because the rest of the series has yet to materialize. And that is Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. So this is a dystopian novel in which people are divided up into classes based on how much color they see and what colors they see. Intermarriage is highly policed because you can't be making certain colors. It was a cool idea and I wanted to see where it was going. This was huge on booktube when I first started booktubing. I think this was the first book that I actually picked up because of booktube. Everybody and their mother was reading this book and I read it and I loved it. And when I read it at the time, I was like, oh, in a few months, the sequel will be coming out. Like the Goodreads had the date for the sequel in a few months. And I was so excited because it hopped on the bandwagon, I thought at the right time 
to read the first book and get on the second book. The second book has never materialized. Will there ever be a second book? I don't know. But it feels like a betrayal because I, I got so invested in this and there's so much world building and so much that I want to see from this and the ending is open. Final book I have here is a book that I love. This is another book that I picked up because of booktube. Um, again, it was one of those things that everybody was reading when I first started booktubing and I picked it up and I loved it. I loved it. And that is Jeffrey Eugenides' The Virgin Suicides. This is a story of the Lisbon sisters who gradually all commit suicide and you don't know why. And it's narrated from the perspective of the neighborhood boys who have sort of watched them and loved them and lusted after them and are now experiencing this loss and they don't know why. And I think the betrayal for me is that the proof isn't there. It will always remain a question. And I mean, I love that about it. I love it that there will be no answers, but at the same time, the text is inherently designed to betray me. I will never get the answers that I want. I can read this over and over again, and I will never understand fully. I can speculate, but I will never understand what pushes that first domino and what, what causes this trauma. So it's a good betrayal, but it's a betrayal. Um, if you haven't read this, do read it, it's really good. So those are the five books that I feel betrayed by for various reasons. Let me know in the comments down below what is one book you feel betrayed by. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.